Welcome to the She Build Show. I'm your host, Stephanie Olson, a licensed general contractor who builds new construction, renovates, and designs your vision. Today, more than ever, we need raw, authentic women who are willing to rise above society's norms, break those glass ceilings, and encourage each other to boldly build the life we were meant to live. So honey, what are you building? Welcome to the She Build Show. I'm sorry if I sound a little funny. I've been fighting the awful, you know, virus that's been going around. I've had so many interviews lately. I haven't got to do a solo show. And I am just honestly so happy to be back to share with you today. So the title of today's episode is How You Do Anything is How You Do Everything. I became a stepmother in my 20s. I was young and naive, but I became a stepmom to the sweetest young boy. I became a parent to him before I ever had my own children. And I will say for sure that I stumbled my way through this. And I probably did not handle it with the wisdom I would have handled it if I were to do it over again, knowing what I know. But you see, I grew up in a family where hard work meant everything. You never got through life being lazy or doing less. My dad taught this to me and he made every effort to actually teach this to his new grandson. He would come over to our house every Thursday and clean stalls with him. So cleaning stalls in my world means we've got horses and there's horse poop to pick up, right? And they need to be cleaned every day. So it wasn't really about cleaning stalls though, right? It was about intentional time with him to show him what hard work actually looked like, what a job well done feels like. It wasn't okay to pick up the horse poop partially or leave rocks on level. All the poop needed to be picked up and all the rocks needed to be raked flat and the place needed to look clean and tidy. The other message was that we don't just stand around and watch someone else work. We work, we look up, and we find something else to do that needs to be done. We do more instead of less. We are someone who takes initiative and sees something that needs to be done and just does it without being asked. So once the sun had finally risen and they were done cleaning stalls, they would head to breakfast every week. They would just spend time together, and my father intentionally poured his time into our boy. On the same token, from a very young age, I required my children to make their beds. Yeah, every day. And I don't just mean throw the covers up and call it a day. I teach them how to straighten their sheets and fold it down at the end of the head of the bed. I show them how their comforters go and where to set their pillows and how to straighten everything once they're done, to look at their bed and notice if anything needs to be fixed. This isn't a type of punishment, I promise. I'm teaching them the notion, how you do anything is how you do everything. Does that make sense? Let that sink in. How you do anything is how you do everything. So what that means to me is if you want to achieve something in your life, it really starts with the small things and doing the small things well, cleaning stalls, making our beds. I don't think I understood the phrase until I read Mark Patterson's book, Win the Day. I knew I was teaching my children important things, but I didn't have the phrase to sum it up. I think this phrase, how you do anything is how you do everything, also reminds me of the saying that you must be faithful in the small things to be trusted with the big things. I love this because there is no huge commitment here. There's no pressure. There is no gloomy mountain to climb. You wake up and you do the small things well. You make your bed neatly. You give intentional time to your kids. You drink the water that you know you need to. You do the workout that's going to make you feel better. You give intense focus for an hour to work on the plan and the goal that you set forth. The pressure is off and the thing you need to do is just right in front of you. So take Instagram and Facebook off your phone. Heck, don't even park your phone in your bedroom. And tomorrow, get up and make your bed. How you do anything is how you do everything. 
Take a small step today towards the person you want to become. I know you can do it. And while you're at it, order Win the Day by Mark Batterson. He will light some fire under your booty and help to make sure each day is its own masterpiece. I just really want you to think about this, that it's not about pressure. It's not about achieving everything, that we can take it down to the simple steps, just like we would teach our children how to do something well. We can break it down into those small steps for ourselves and just do the small things well, that if I'm faithful with these small things in my world, then I know that I can be trusted with the big things when they come later. They won't be scary. They won't be too big. I'll know how to handle it. So I just, I just appreciate you that you took the time to listen today. I know this is short and sweet, but wherever you are, I want you to know how incredible you are and that you really are a blessing to this world. And girl, do the dishes and do the laundry with kindness in your heart and do it well. Do the small thing well, because I know that there are huge plans for you. And I know that they're coming your way and it's time to get ready for them. I hope your day is so blessed and that you shine light on someone else today. Be sure to smile and be kind. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for joining me today on the She Build Show. My name is Stephanie Olson. My hope is that this episode leaves you feeling empowered and ready to boldly take that step into building the life that you envision one, two by four at a time. And if you can do me a quick favor, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes. I get giddy over reading the reviews each week and I will choose one special person to win some She Build swag. Make sure you add your name to the review and I'll reach out if you're the winner. Thanks again for hanging out. Be sure to visit me at thesheBuildShow.com where you can ask me questions and share with me what you're building.